Hello, I'm Rick Aguilar, Lieutenant with the San Diego Police Department. I'm also the SWAT commander and the Lieutenant for the Air Support Unit. I'm going to talk to you about the 2023 Military Equipment Report. Our goal is to be transparent with the community we serve and to seek approval on a later date from the San Diego City Council for the continued use of military-style equipment as defined by California Assembly Bill 481. In this presentation, I will outline and explain the uses for current equipment being utilized by the San Diego Police Department. Also, to show the equipment currently being utilized by the department that is needed to maintain public safety and to provide the highest quality of police service to all of our communities. I would like to emphasize the San Diego Police Department does not participate in the 1033 program for procuring surplus military equipment. The last piece of equipment the department received from this program was returned in March of 2020. Much of the equipment described in AB 481 is utilized exclusively by the San Diego Police Department SWAT team. The mission of the SWAT team is to use training, sound tactical planning, and equipment to bring a safe resolution to critical incidents. The SWAT team is always used by the department as a de-escalation tool in hopes of a peaceful resolution. Equipment utilized by the San Diego Police Department and exclusively by the SWAT team complies with the transparent and responsible use of surveillance technology, also known as the Surveillance Ordinance, which was adopted by the City of San Diego on September 9, 2022. The total cost of military equipment in 2023 was approximately $1.3 million. The cost went up from 2022 by approximately $49,000. However, the percentage of the annual budget for military equipment went down from 2022. In 2022, the percentage of the annual budget for military equipment was 0.13%, and in 2023, it was 0.02% of the total budget. The San Diego Police Department command vehicles are self-contained command posts designed to provide incident commanders a mobile base of operations. Currently, the department has five different types of mobile command vehicles, a vehicle utilized by the emergency negotiations team and a special equipment vehicle utilized by the SWAT team. The SWAT team utilizes two armored rescue vehicles. One is a two-door armored rescue vehicle and the other is a four-door armored rescue vehicle. Both vehicles provide a high level of ballistic protection for a rescue team when dealing with an armed suspect. The armored rescue vehicles are not equipped with any affixed weapons and are utilized by the SWAT team as a defensive tool. The four-door armored rescue vehicle is equipped with biochemical, radiological, and nuclear detection equipment and a fresh air breathing system. This allows officers access into a potentially hazardous environment to affect a citizen or officer rescue. The unmanned aircraft systems, or commonly referred to as UAS or drones, are utilized by the department. UAS can assist at any incident where an aerial perspective would be beneficial. UAS are only used during critical incidents in high-risk operations with authorization from the Chief of Police. These systems were presented earlier this year at a surveillance technology community meeting. Robots are used exclusively by SWAT officers during critical incidents and high-risk operations. The SWAT team currently utilizes two types of robots the i mini caliber robot, and the FLIR first look robot. Robots allow SWAT officers to obtain a view of an area without sending an officer to an uncleared or dangerous position. Both robots were presented at the last surveillance technology community meeting. Currently, the San Diego Police Department is utilizing the Colt Carbine Law Enforcement Series AR-15 rifles. The SWAT team is currently utilizing Daniel Defense semi-automatic AR-15 rifles, and our snipers are utilizing the Accuracy International 308 caliber bolt-action rifles. Specialty equipment utilized exclusively by the SWAT team are pepper ball launchers, 40 millimeter single and multi-launchers, diversionary devices, and chemical agents. Specialty equipment utilized by the San Diego Police Department is the beanbag shotgun. Beanbag shotguns can be deployed to impact suspects, demonstrating assaultive 
or life-threatening behavior. Beanbag shotguns are not utilized by the department during civil unrest or crowd control situations. A recent example of where equipment was utilized to bring a safe and peaceful resolution to an incident was in October of 2023. Eastern Division officers received a radio call of a suspect threatening hotel staff. Officers responded and attempted to call out the suspect. After there was no response, a PRT assist was called. PRT made numerous attempts to get the suspect to come out, but the suspect refused to come out. PRT utilized a pike pole to break the window of the hotel room and deployed an OC vapor canister into the room. The suspect continued to refuse to come out and a second OC vapor canister was deployed. Again, the suspect refused to come out. A code 11 was called and SWAT was given the mission to contain and negotiate with the suspect. During negotiations, the suspect requested a cigarette. The suspect stated they would surrender after receiving a cigarette. To de-escalate and to show good faith, SWAT utilized a robot to give the suspect a cigarette. The suspect retrieved the cigarette from the claw of the robot. After retrieving the cigarette, the suspect picked up the robot and threw it off the second floor balcony, causing significant damage to the robot. The emergency negotiations team, also known as ENT, continued to negotiate with the suspect for several more hours to surrender peacefully. After several hours of negotiating, ENT developed information there may be a female inside of the room with the suspect. A gas plan was developed and implemented to dry the suspect out of the room. As the gas was being introduced into the room, the suspect came out of the window. The suspect moved towards react's position. An SRT officer deployed four rounds of 40 millimeter less lethal sponge rounds, and at the same time, a canine was sent to apprehend the suspect. While the canine was on the suspect, the suspect carried the canine towards React's position, still refusing to comply with commands. SRT officers were forced to take the suspect to the ground. The suspect continued to resist and fight with the officers. During the struggle, officers noticed the suspect had a knife in his hand. Officers were able to remove the knife and take the suspect into custody. After getting the suspect into custody, it was discovered the canine had been stabbed by the suspect. Canine was treated on scene by officers and star medics. Canine then transported to the animal emergency hospital where emergency surgery was performed to save the canine. As officers checked the inside of the room, they discovered the body of a female. Star medics checked the female and confirmed she was deceased. The scene was turned over to the homicide unit for further investigation. As you can see, these vital resources assisted our SWAT team in de-escalating the situation that resulted in a peaceful arrest. This concludes the presentation on the annual military equipment report. On a later date, the San Diego Police Department will respectfully request the City Council to certify the continued use of the safety equipment outlined in this presentation. Each piece of equipment is crucial for the department's ability to maintain public safety. Thank you for your time and allowing me to present the annual military equipment report. We will now take speakers at the districts. Each speaker will have one minute to ask a question, provide feedback, or make a statement. Be respectful of all viewpoints. We're going to start at the hub location in District 4. District 4 has no speakers. Thank you. Moving on to District 1. District 1 has no speakers. District 2. District 2 has no speakers. District 3. District 3 has no speakers. Next is District 5. District 5 has no speakers. District 6. District 6 has no speakers. District 7. District 7 has no speakers. District 8. District 8 has no speakers. And last is District 9. District 9 has no speakers. 
Okay, back to the hub location for any last minute comments, questions. There are no further speakers. Okay, this will conclude the Assembly Bill 41 Military Equipment Annual Community Meeting. Thank you so much. Good evening.